Hey everybody, it's Fox with Foxio Games, and I want to talk about the difference between a real review and a fake review. And there are quite a lot of fake reviews on the internet, particularly on YouTube and also on a lot of game journalist websites. Uh, this has been a problem for quite a while now, fake reviews that are really doing nothing more than shilling a game or some other product, and, and they're basically a disguised advertisement. But in this case, I want to talk about a review from someone I saw on YouTube, and they reviewed, quotation marks, Bloodborne. Now, I'm not going to talk about who it is. Many of you will probably be looking at some of the more popular Souls uploaders, but let me just hint that this might be someone who reviews games in general, and maybe not necessarily a Souls community member, so to speak. I went to the video, and I watched it from start to finish over 10 minutes, and there wasn't a single negative thing said. Not one. In fact, the entire video was little more than gushing praise in a list of the game's features. I would say nearly seven to eight minutes of the 10 minute video was quite literally just a kind of factual explanation with a lot of praise added in of all the features of the game. What is the story? What, what is the lore? What, what is the background to the game? Uh, what are all the mechanics? It was almost like this point-by-point -point explanation of the features of the game. And that's not a review. I've actually seen more supposedly professional websites do this. And I'm talking about game, game websites like GameSpot and Game Trailers. I remember going to one of those sites looking for the latest World of Warcraft uh, expansion review. I, I quit playing it. My wife and I quit playing the game a long time ago, but I still kind of keep up with the news just for fun. And I was looking at the Mists of Pandaria review, and I watched the whole review for like, it was somewhere between five to 10 minutes. And I, I just, at the end of it, like my mouth was hanging open in shock. It was nothing more than a list of features with a score at the end. Not a single negative thing was said. I mean, there almost wasn't even an opinion anywhere in there. It was nothing more than a list of the features and changes that had been done to the game. And that's not a review. According to Google definitions, a review is a noun. We knew that. Oh, or it's a verb. It's a formal assessment or examination of something with the possibility or intention of instituting change if necessary. And as a verb, it means to examine or assess something formally with the possibility or intention of instituting change if necessary. Now, I know that a dictionary definition doesn't always encapsulate all of the meaning in the colloquial use of a word. There's a big word for you. You can look that one up if you don't know it. But, I mean, in common vernacular, when you review something, it's everyone expects you to give your opinion, of course, but also expects you to give some positives and negatives. Very few things in this world are entirely positive or entirely negative, and the reason that is is because many of the positive aspects of a game are actually like a coin. You can flip the coin around, and the positive aspect of that game can also be seen as a negative. For example, the Bloodborne's fast-paced, really hectic, super-fast combat you can flip that coin around from the fun, you know, hectic style gameplay, which can be really exciting and, and, you know, quick and all that. But if you flip it around to the other side, sometimes it's too hectic. You can't really fully control everything. The camera swings all over the place. And I'm not really sure there's a solution for that. I wouldn't even necessarily say it's completely a negative. I think it's simply two sides of a coin. You, you have the positive benefits of that style of play, but it inherently comes with some negatives. That's what a review is. You're covering all your bases, positives and negatives, talking about things that you like, things that you didn't like, things that could be improved upon. Whereas if you sit there and just list the features and then give a score at the end, now we can go into scores as an entirely separate video, and I don't do scores for a couple different reasons. I feel very strongly against them, but that's neither here nor there. I want to know what you guys think. Have you ever seen a review, quotation marks on that? that turns out to be nothing more than gushing praise for something, or a review that turns out to be nothing more than just a list of the game's features. And what do you think about that? Does that qualify as a review, in your opinion? Well, I've given you mine. I definitely don't think it does. But, as always, I want to hear your opinions. I'm Fox with Foxio Games, and I will see you next time.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm of course Fox with Foxo Games, and if you want to see more of me, and why wouldn't you? You can of course subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, I love to keep up with everything that's going on with you guys, and make sure to click one of these two videos if you'd like to see another awesome video, my Fox Seriously Reviews of Bloodborne. And of course there's my comedy review of Lords of the Fallen. It's a series known as Fox Kind of Reviews. I will see you guys next time.